Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K24 video. Last week, I had the awesome opportunity to play an early build of WWE 2K24 thanks to 2K UK and WWE Games, so I thought why not share my first impressions on the game before the game launches next month. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website, www.revolution.com. Before we dive in, I do want to stress that the build we played was an early build of the game with only a handful of superstars, match types and modes available to play. It's not guaranteed, but multiple factors could be addressed between the build we played and launch, so bear that in mind when it comes to initial takes and content. As a quick example, one of the devs explained to us that one of the match types we played had already received an update to its AI playstyle after vigorous testing. The theming of this year's title is 40 years of WrestleMania and as part of the build we had access to this year's showcase mod titled Showcase of the Immortals, documenting various matches throughout WrestleMania's history. In total, there were three matches to choose from and seeing as we focus on the women on this channel, our match of choice was Rhea Ripley vs Charlotte Flair from WrestleMania 39. 2K Slingshot technology once again returns, blending gameplay cutscenes with WWE Network content. It might not be my preferred approach, but I can't deny that it looks cool in game when gameplay and footage seamlessly blend together, recreating match highlights for WWE fans. WWE 2K24 perfectly recreates the tense action between Charlotte and Rhea in a reenactment of their SmackDown Women's Championship match at last year's WrestleMania. The matchup also provides alternate models for both Ripley and Flair, and I personally think both women look absolutely awesome, especially Charlotte's model, and I only hope that the remaining women showcase models look just as good. Now, call me old fashioned, but I would much prefer seeing or playing the moments out in game myself, as realistically speaking, if I wanted to watch the match, I could easily pop on YouTube or the WWE Network and watch the match myself. Now obviously some of the match situations are harder to recreate than others but I often find that the real footage takes me out of the game and I'm often waiting for the clip to end so I can play again. As I say that's just my personal preference but let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the situation as I'm intrigued to hear what you think. The showcase also provides a first look at WWE official Jessica Carr who makes her 2K debut alongside Aja Smith. It seems as though referees have not only received a much needed makeover, but they also have a few different animations, with referees attempting to count much quicker with more fluid animations. Hopefully in the coming weeks we get a closer look at creator referee and special guest referee, as that's one mod I really can't wait to dive into. One of the major features of this year's game is returning match types, with ambulance matches, casket matches and special guest referee matches all returning to the series. In the build we played, we had access to the ambulance match, giving fans a new way to play and have fun in the 2K engine. Like various other extreme match types in the series, players have access to weapons both under and around the ring to beat down their opponent, with the ambulance itself acting as both a weapon and a brand new match mechanic. The ambulance match can be used in various arenas, with competitors starting inside the ring before the action spills to the outside for an all-out brawl beside the emergency vehicle. To win the ambulance match, opponents duke it out in a bid to send their opponents home in an ambulance via a button mashing minigame, which is executed once a superstar has been dragged, Irish whipped, thrown or even power bombed inside the ambulance. Once one superstar is inside the ambulance, their opponent has the option to attempt to close the ambulance doors, which activates a button mashing minigame, with opponents competing to fill their side of the meter. Should the superstar inside the ambulance lose the first button mashing minigame, a second round begins with a slight advantage boost to the down superstar, repeating until one superstar prevails over the other. To gain a better chance of finishing the match, superstars can beat down their opponents in various ways, with badly damaged superstars being easier to put away than those with more health. This can be done in various ways such as standard wrestling actions, by using weapons or even competing on top of the ambulance. Once on top of the ambulance, players can perform actions such as grapples and finishing moves as well as throwing opponents off the top of the vehicle to the floor below. We didn't have access to the options in our build but I seriously hope we can add tables to ambulance matches because it would be so much fun to see one superstar thrown down through a table before being sent packing with an ambulance. 
In the build we played, many of us found that the AI seemed a little troubled when it came to ambulance matches, with the AI seemingly getting confused as how to get back down from the top of the ambulance. But after speaking to one of the devs, we were reassured that this has already been addressed and the AI is in much better working condition. I have to say I had quite a cool time with the ambulance match and I can only imagine how much more fun it'll be when we get to play against friends and family once the game releases. I imagine that casket matches will work in a similar sort of way, implementing a button mashing mini game to close the casket but if it's anything like the ambulance match, I don't mind one thing. Adding ambulance matches on top of the already varied extreme match types gives fans yet another reason to play and I can only hope that 2K add new and more returning match types later down the line. If fans don't want to use the ambulance at ringside, they also have the option to take things backstage with another ambulance residing in the parking lot. This gives players more opportunities to deal extra damage with various weapons and environmental situations before putting their opponent away. Speaking of backstage, in our build we had the ability to face off backstage with more players than in previous years thanks to the ability to compete in one-on-one, -on -one, a triple threat or fatal four-way backstage brawls. The setup for Backstage is pretty much the same as last year, with new weapons and environmental situations, as well as the Backstage Ambulance previously mentioned. Like back in the day, players can now also interact with several pieces backstage, with the ability to smash windows, use vending machines, and even use a brand new elevator. While the elevator is nothing groundbreaking, it does speed things up when you want to switch the action to somewhere new, letting players take weapons and opponents up or down a level. Having the ability to have multiple superstars face off backstage is a welcome addition to this year's game but it doesn't come without its niggles as I often found that the majority of superstars would always target me when all gathered together and often result in an early elimination. When you are separated into little pockets that's where the real fun begins as opponents battle it out to see who can knock out their rival. Sometimes if you're unlucky a rival will come flying completely out of nowhere to interrupt the action or if you're super unlucky it could be a weapon. Hellish as it may be in the moment, it never fails to be hilarious, creating some random laugh out loud moments. Speaking of weapons, the old fan favourites once again return alongside some new tools including a microphone, a water bottle and a damn chancler, which is a preset favourite for our very own Zelina Vega. The chancler comes with its own taunts and hilarious sound effects to easily bat off your opponents, or if you Becky Lynch, a slap to the back of the head. Last year, 2K added the ability to taunt whilst holding weapons with 2K24 now bringing back the ability to throw any and every weapon. Countless times throughout my playthrough, I would randomly find myself laughing out loud at some random chair flying through the air to hit a random superstar, completely taking me off guard, resulting to me being under attack myself. Opponents also have the ability to block, dodge and catch weapons that are thrown, so don't get too confident as that weapon may come back to bite you on the ass, quite literally. With the return of throwing weapons also comes the return of being able to fight on top of the announced tables where players can now perform light and heavy grapples that don't instantly break the table. To break the table, superstars perform their finishes to give it that extra OMG moment. When on top of the table, players can be dragged or thrown back down by their opponent but before they get the opportunity, players can perform various dive actions to fend them off. Speaking of returning features, it was also teased that OMG moments will once again return to the series and whilst I didn't come across any in the build I played, I did get the chance to play around with 2K's newest feature, Super Finishers. Super Finishers can be performed when players have earned three finisher slots with their chosen superstar and can be performed from various situations, giving a new spin on a superstar's finisher. Players like Rhea Ripley, Bailey and Becky Lynch had new avalanche versions of their finishes while some superstars like Bianca and Zelina had diving finishes with Zelina having an epic code red and Bianca a 450 splash. When the finishes are performed they result in a devastating blow to the opponent resulting in a super quick and tiny pinning bar which is almost impossible to break out of. I honestly think that this year's game has a great balance of elements you could use simulation with nice arcade elements like throwing weapons and super finishes to spice up the gameplay. Another new feature in this year's game is the Trading Blows minigame which is activated when holding the light strike button. Once initiated, superstars duke it out blow for blow in a strike meter similar to the minigames in previous titles, with players attempting to stop the dial in the green segment of the meter to perform a successful action. Failing to perform a successful action three times in the minigame will end the sequence resulting in the winning superstar gaining the upper hand. If both continue to make successful actions throughout the minigame, the superstars will then enter a button mash 
sequence to fill the stun meter, with the player who fills the bar first being the winner of the minigame. I will say I quite enjoyed the Trading Blows minigame and often found myself initiating the game either at the start of every match or when I wanted the WWE Universe to get into the match. Small changes like these might not seem huge on their own, but when you add them all together, they create such a better gameplay experience, making WWE 2K24 fresh, fun and exciting to play, whilst also adding elements you might see on WWE TV. For example, one element the team added this year is a new Irish Whip Reversal, which might seem tiny on the scale, but it creates such a better flow to the matches and really takes you off guard when an opponent reverses an Irish Whip. 2K have also seemingly added a new pin approach in this year's game, which makes pinning look and feel more fluid when attempting a pin, with superstars seemingly no longer stumbling or making awkward gestures when you attempt to pin your opponent. The same can also be said when it comes to rebounds off the ropes, as gone are the days of bumping into opponents with the ability to perform moves and strikes when the chosen button is pressed earlier. I will say it time and time and time and again, on their own, these things are somewhat small on the scale, but altogether, they create such a better flow of gameplay and I can't wait to uncover more with later builds of the game. If WWE 2K24 releases with as much promise as this build left me with, I honestly think that we could be onto another great year for the 2K series. This was only an early build of WWE 2K24 and there are bound to be a ton of information I forgot to mention, so I can't imagine how much more there'll be come full release. So let me know in the comments below what has you most excited for WWE 2K24 is it a new match type, new weapons or mechanics? Maybe there's something you would like 2K to focus on next. Let me know in the comments down below and we'll discuss it. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revelation.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution.